tissue. A group of cells coordinating to perform a specific function is called tissue. Tissues provide division of labor in multicellular organisms. Cells in a tissue are arranged and designed so as to give the highest possible efficiency. Due to improved organization and higher efficiency, multicellular organisms have higher survival value. Plant tissue. Most plant cells are dead. These dead cells provide mechanical strength to the plant. Plant tissues are of two types, meristematic and permanent. The cells of meristematic tissue are capable of cell division. Permanent tissue consists of mature cells which are incapable of cell division. Let us learn more about these tissues in detail. Meristematic tissue. Meristematic tissue is made up of cells that have the power to divide continuously. They help in increasing the length and girth of the plant. The cells of this tissue are very active. They have dense cytoplasm, thin cellulose walls and prominent nuclei. They lack vacuoles. Depending upon location in the body of the plant, the meristems may be apical, intercalary and lateral. Apical meristem is present at the growing tips of stems and roots and increases their lengths. Intercalary meristem is the meristem at the base of the leaves or internodes on twigs. Lateral meristems are located along the lateral sides of stems and roots. Permanent tissue. The cells of permanent tissue originate from meristematic tissue. However, they take up a specific role and lose the ability to divide. There are two types of permanent tissues, simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues. Simple permanent tissues. Simple permanent tissues are composed of similar type of cells having common origin and function. Simple permanent tissues are of three types, parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Parenchyma is formed of thin-walled, living and oval-shaped cells. These are loosely packed with large intercellular spaces. Parenchyma provides support to plants and also stores food. In some situations, it contains chlorophyll and performs photosynthesis. Then it is called chlorenchyma. In aquatic plants, large air cavities are present in parenchyma which provides buoyancy to the plants. Such a type of parenchyma is called erenchyma. Colenchyma is formed of living and thick-walled cells with extra cellulose at the corners. It provides flexibility and mechanical support to the plants. Sclerenchyma is formed of dead cells. The cells are long and narrow as the walls are thickened due to lignin. It provides strength to the plant parts. It also forms hard covering of seeds and nuts. Complex Permanent Tissues Complex permanent tissues are characterized by different kinds of cells functioning in a coordinated manner. Complex permanent tissue is of two types, xylem and phloem. Xylem is formed of four types of cells, tracheids, vessels, xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma. They carry water and minerals from the roots to different parts of the plant. Phloem is also formed of four types of cells, sieve tube cells, companion cells, phloem fibers and phloem parenchyma. They help in conduction of food within the plant body.